Karen! Karen! They're one of Bikini Bottom's most unique couples. Well, if it isn't the wind beneath my wings. Now hold your breath as we dive into their full relationship timeline. No! Of course, Karen and Plankton's companionship goes all the way back to Camp Coral. <laughs> Step on it, my computer assistant! Yes, sir! And since the very beginning, they were like two peas in a cephalopod. You'll never believe it, Karen. Those nitwit campers are back to normal, and crabs never noticed a thing. Oh, that's wonderful, Mr. Plankton. But when did Karen go from assistant to wife? Well, they began dating when she was just a security system. Plankton and I met when he installed me. It was only our third date. Countless years later, during one of Plankton's many evil failed schemes, we met Karen and Plankton as we know them today. Plankton, 1% evil, 99% hot gas. Well, this stinks. Then there was the family reunion. I'd like you to meet my computer wife, Karen. <laughs> Golly, she sure is pretty, Sheldon. Sheldon? Yes, that's my first name. <laughs> pretty crazy that after all these years, Plankton managed to keep his first name secret from his wife, huh? <laughs> okay, so maybe Plankton and Karen aren't the perfect couple. They go through their troubles. Fine, I'm wrong, you're right. You why did I ever install that nagging software? Nagging software, I heard that! So it's not surprising that they've tried to see other people. Why did I ever buy that computer wife? I need a real woman, not a girl in a cold hard shell. Plankton wound up pursuing Mr. Krabs' mother. He even went so far as to deactivate Karen. So much for couples counseling. And now to woo that beloved creature. And when Plankton's impromptu romance said, no chance... Working. So, you've decided to come crawling back to me, huh? What did you say? <laughs> Nothing, dear. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Honey bunch. Ah, uh, they do love each other, though. Just look at the time Karen tried to buy Plankton's happiness, so to speak. The deal's off, computer. I can't eat another bite of that slop. No matter how much you pay me. Huh? I have eaten ten of those things, and I've already had to go to the doctor. Twice! When a regular customer at the Chum Bucket turned heads, it turned out to be not as genuine as everyone imagined. What's the deal, Karen? The deal was that I paid Nat to eat your chum so you'd quit your constant complaining. All this time, I never had one regular customer? Uh, duh. Plankton's got some growing up to do. Karen! What's this? It's words on paper. It says, Dear Plankton, I've logged on to another network. I just can't go into sleep mode at night knowing that you'll continue blaming me for all of your failures. Anyway, you're a grown single-celled organism and allowed to make your own syntax errors. Nice knowing you, Karen. Even if he's just a single-celled organism, you'd think he'd stop trying to bring other robots into their home. Those alternates didn't last long either. <laughs> Karen! You've come back to me! Actually, I just came to get my keyboard. Oh, I knew you couldn't stay away. I knew it! <sighs> right, let me guess. Another failure? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Machines these days, right? Uh, listen, sweetie. I'm sorry about what I said. Truth is, I could never replace you, honey bunch. Let's go home, huh? <sighs> okay. Aw, see, I told you they loved each other. And as a couple that's been together for so long, you know anniversaries are a big deal, too. Oh, you selfish green twit! It's our wedding anniversary! Oh, that. Yippee. <laughs> you forgot! And I got you the perfect gift! The Krabby Patty formula? How did you get it? First, I went to the Krusty Krab. One Krabby Patty, please. Thank you. 
whatever. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Well, you can tell me later. You're not getting this until you get me a gift. <sighs> from your heart. Plankton eventually did find a gift that was not just from the heart, but from the voice as well. Oh, my Karen. Oh, my Karen. Oh, my computer wife, Karen. Put down those punch cards. Put down those punch cards. And listen to my ode. Oh, my Karen. Oh, my Karen. Oh, my computer wife, Karen. What compares to? What compares to? Uh, you'll never know how much I love your vacuum tube. Passion, it's no wonder they decided to go on a little celebration of love. Oh, Plankton, this second honeymoon is gonna be so great! Spoiler yeah. alert, it wasn't so great. My second honeymoon ruined! <laughs> well, technically it's your first. Oh, would you can it already? I guess I have no choice but to turn up the settings on my vacation app. Uh, but, but I don't think that's such a good... <laughs> and things seemed as if they were finished for good between these two when Plankton turned up with a newer model. Karen, I want you to meet my new computer wife. Karen 2! <gasps> Karen 2? I've been replaced? Karen 2.0 didn't seem to care about Plankton. Not in the way that classic Karen did. You heartless homepage wrecking hussy! Yeah! No one runs down my man. And how's this for couples goals? They even got a pet. Karen, look at what Spot brought home! It's wonderful. Spot deserves a reward. He can have anything he wants up to half my kingdom. Er, uh, laboratory. I think he wants your Krabby Patty. No! no! You've been a very bad amoeba, bad amoeba! And while Spot was an exciting addition to such a chummy family, Karen couldn't handle all the cuteness when Spot had puppies. Where's Spot? What the? Puppy! You did it, boy! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay! Wait, is that my good dinner jacket? Oh, who cares about a dinner jacket? Oh, the dinner jacket! Calm down, Karen. You don't want to blow out your motherboard. No, oh, I'm gonna name you Steven and Karen and Clayton and Vincent and you overload. Oh, sure. You take a couple of hours to reboot, Karen. It's fine. I'll just manage all these puppies all on my own. Despite their troubles, those puppies weren't enough to prepare these two for parenthood. Oh, Planky Poo. Look how cute that baby is. Oh, please. That thing isn't even a graphing calculator. Karen couldn't wait to go from motherboard to just plain mother. Though that opinion went obsolete pretty quick. I told Chip that game was too dangerous, and do you know what he said to me? And? <laughs> Just talk to your son. I need to cool my circuits. And after an electrifying father-son adventure, it was over before they knew it. Come on, son. Let your old man buy you a quart of oil. Woohoo! <laughs> yes! Sorry, Dad. I'd love to, but I'm leaving for college. I went to college. <laughs> now, as empty nesters, Karen and Plankton continue to enjoy their relationship by spying on their grown son. Hey! Give me my money! That's my boy! Still pursuing evil schemes. Every Patty secret formula is finally mine! <laughs> And investing in their relationship. Oh, Sheldon, you're so romantic. It's all about you today, Karen. Oh, this makes up for a lot of your stupidity lately, Plankton. 
What's your favorite Plankton and Karen moment? Like and subscribe and keep following for more from your bikini bottom favorites. You've fallen in love with another woman? I'm your wife. You're a W-I-F-E. Wired Integrated Female Electroencephalograph. Oh, you always pull that one out.